Hey guys, it's Becca from Weatherwood Stains and from from Gardeners to Burgers blog. So, furniture wax is one of our most common top coats for Weatherwood projects, especially all those furniture projects that are done. Uh, it's a great choice for a top coat. I found that the harder the furniture wax is, um, not to use, but like, I mean, the actual product, the less it will affect the color. Um, so the one that I have right here is actually the softest I've found. Um, and I'm gonna show you on that so that you can see, um, this is the most the color could possibly change, this one. Um, other products, the other products that work well are Johnson's and Johnson's wax, Miss Mustard Seeds wax, uh, Min Wax's furniture wax or furniture paste, I believe it's called. Uh, Annie Sloan's is kind of in the middle because it's it is quite soft, and then this Valspar is like a hardened polyurethane. It's like so soft. Okay, so I've got two pieces of American oak stained with Reclamation and they're ready for a top coat. So with furniture wax, you can just use, you can use a cheap chip brush like this or a fancy uh, brush for your wax. It's up to you. Um, for this brand, I just like to use these throwaways, this brand of wax. You wanna work the wax in in the direction of the grain and using the directions on Valspar's can, it says to wait just one to two minutes and to come in and wipe off the excess. So see, this is why furniture wax is so popular. It is so easy. All right, we'll be back in a minute and we're just gonna take off whatever's sitting on the wood surface. Hey guys, it's Becca. So I'm back. It's been about two minutes and um, I've got a clean rag and I'm here to just pull off whatever wax is still on the surface of this American oak. So the wood has different products uh, sit on the wood surface for a different amount of time. But the main idea is that the wood is absorbing the product and so between two to 15 minutes is pretty common. Uh, the wood will absorb the product and then it can't absorb anymore. So you wipe off whatever's left over and then uh, your product's good to dry. So this is the dry time on this is about 60 minutes and then it's good to be buffed out if you want it shiny or you can just leave it. Uh, but here you can see it's actually still, like it's pretty wet. Like I said, this top coat for a furniture wax is very, very um, runny, for lack of a better word. Um, like gel, kind of. And so um, as this dries, it'll, it'll dry out quite a bit. And it might only be like a shade darker. If it was like Johnson & Johnson's wax, it would probably be like, dead on and I'll grab one of those and do a video on that one of these days so anyways furniture wax is a piece of cake and I highly recommend it on oak